workshop of this uh, confederation. Uh, thank you, Magicite, for uh, my hosting. Welcome. You can call me Mickey Magicite Mustafa. Mickey Magicite Mustafa? Yes, all our last names are Mustafa. You're not too hot with lava, yes? Well, I'm extremely pale. I, for one, find this quite hospitable. I have a lot of rocks on my planet. They're not molten, but they're there. I come from a desert planet, so I'm used to heat, but... Lava is a bit more than I'm used to, but I'll get used to it. It's like a wet heat. Yes, but it will burn you to crisp, you know? Well, yeah, I'm not gonna go into the lava. I'm just... Hopefully we have places... It is not always a consideration. Lava will come to you, Mustafa. I think we found our first problem to work with. Can your species be the only one that's good with lava? We prefer that. You prefer lava? We prefer being the only species who can deal with it. All oh, right, so xenophobic. Hey, Roomba, from Planet Roomba. We need your help. All right, what exactly do you need? Allies. Help. Anything. Oh, so you've never had allies before? No, we have. They can be handled it well. We nitpick them. Oh, so you're nitpicky species. Yes. Why is that? We can't decide on anything. It has to be perfect. So, uh, what have you done in the last century or so, then? Nothing. Nothing? We couldn't even decide on the color. Color of what? Yes. Okay. First, your problem is this. Because you don't decide to do anything, that's a failure in itself. <gasps> yeah. No. No. No progress is made, then you're stagnant. If I fail, I must kill myself. No, 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 no. Failing is fine. There's lava right over there. Don't jump in the lava, please. No one jump in the lava. Failure, I failed plenty of times. I've had over a hundred jobs. 
and I'm now leading this. Failure has helped me learn from my failures. Failure is fine. I'm not understanding. You learn from your mistakes. But we don't make mistakes. But you're doing nothing which is a mistake. Is it? You are coming for me to help. You need to go to banks 5432 and 5455. Go refugees. I never thought I'd be so happy to see Hydra Base. Oh, it's not time to back. You can get your own smoothie machine. I am home now. I see you brought yours. I was going to leave without it. It's an important resource. Would you like a Fruitachino? Decline, for now. Bring one to my room later, once I get a room. I'll have one once I find a straw. I'll have to visit the kitchen. Just slurp it through your mask. Do you have any idea how long that took to clean last time? I have some idea. Why did you take the suggestion anyways? I was thirsty. Oh god. It is important to stay hydrated after a time of crisis. Well, I, I don't know if it's a crisis that... This is a decision Okami made and we are supporting. Just because it was a decision that was made doesn't mean it's not a crisis, especially when the announcement just said, Refugees! There could be other refugees. There was that incident on Terrace. Look, I don't self-identify as a refugee, so I'm just gonna go find a room. I'll see you guys at the briefing later. Oh well. Alright, now since we're uh, alone and can have a one-on-one -on -one time, what is the problems that your planet has been facing? Well, everyone wants to use Mustafar's hidden base. All bad guys come to Mustafar because lava or hidden base. We only have one industry, which is Mountain Sizzle Beverage, you know? Uh, yes, I think I know of it. You love it? Uh, sure. That does not give me confident answer in myself. Well, look, I don't drink a lot of soda. Everyone who says that, make Mustafar die. Well, Mustafar seems to be dying more from not the soda production, but from everyone coming here to make a hidden base. Soda is only industry. Perhaps you'll not understand. Lava makes soda, and soda make a galaxy come to Mustafar for hidden base. Well, okay, so lava makes your soda, is that correct? It is part of proprietary process I cannot reveal, or I will be killed by CEO. Alright, well that's your first problem, is very strict CEOs that would kill over soda production. Not strict. Not strict? That's not strict. Very liberal CEO. Just a big lizard. Just a big lizard. Not like you? Why would it be like me? I cannot run soda company. I am a big stupid. Do you have an education system on this planet? Yes, we run lava very early. Anything other than lava, like geothermics, how you can use lava as an energy source to power the planet and such things? We take non-lava as elective, but most choose not to. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to make it so you can learn lots of things to make it so the planet can do more than just soda. Oh, so you will have hidden base here? Not hidden. No, sorry, no, not hidden. No? No, I... I'm fine with people knowing that I'm trying to help you people figure things out. This is not going to be a shady thing. This is going to be a, hey, we're trying to help educate these people. Cool, everyone help out type of thing. Plenty too hot for cool, but I understand. Make an announcement for you all that three kids are arriving and they will be in May 13 because it's empty. Has the wreckage from the Kiva arrived yet? I have spectated resources are being loaded into various facilities for implementation. Now the question is what are we going to implement? At this point, I think the best way of doing it would be something more mobile. We are having a lot of planets applying for re-entry 
So a less forceful means may also be very beneficial. That is a good point. I think we will build plan 3624A, the SUME. Uploading schematics. The plan for the SUME seems to fit our needs the most. What do you say? Approved. 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 I have spectated unanimous approval. Start the building. Alright, so what exactly are your planet's problems? Well, I can't exactly call it a trash pile. It's more like that wet piece at the bottom of the trash pile where everything has started to rot. The muck. Yes. Our planet's like muck, dried out, like jerky. And why is your planet like jerky? Well, you see, a long time ago when it started to go downhill, we split into a couple different subspecies, and that was just a whole mess of confusion. And then the huts came and took most of us as slaves. And now we're here. And so you're having a hut problem and you have Many cultures that don't agree with each other. You, you're, you're brilliant, sir. You just got it all in one there. Well, if, but anyways, so what we need to do is, if the huts are taking you as slaves, slavery at first is not something I like, and thinking that other species are lower, well, we should stop that. So we should probably take care of the huts. That sounds like an answer from the stars above. Are you an angel? No. No one would call me an angel. I am here to help with so that you people aren't subjugated by big fat slugs. Well, that sounds ideal. Maybe we can bring our branches of society back together and move to something on the top of the trash pile. Or better than a trash pile. A compost bin. Hmm. The cafeteria is now open, and it will be opened with the chef special, taught on quesadillas, ding-dong sliders, and sexy four-sided chub. Go down for your chub. Where's Okami? You will not be spectating him today, unfortunately. You have to say the word spectating. It is part of my core programming, or so I have spectated. Very well. You, tall, dark, and handsome. I haven't seen you around here before. Dr. Norton has programmed me as business casual mode, so unfortunately, train services are suspended. If you would like, I can come by later and give you a fruitachino. Do you have anything in high weight oil or other synthetic lubricants? Of course. How can I call myself a blender pot if not? I can blend anything. Are you done flirting? Can we get the briefing from you? I have spectated that this is quite possible. Well then do it! High Lord Okami has decided the Empire will take a new direction. Which is? Like backwards. Moving forward, the Empire will be more mobile, more versatile, instead of building another Kiba. We will be constructing a new flagship for Okami, rather than a mobile station. Will there be enough room for all the troops to live, or will we be dispersed out to the various fleets? It will be the size of a Super Star Destroyer, but in a new configuration. We will be able to house approximately 0.22% of the Kiba's population. Oh cool, I call my own room! That's kind of... Small. So where would the other populations go? Hydra Base will be constructing the new Katana-class destroyers at an accelerated pace with the resources from the Kiba. Well, I guess that will work. How long will this take? Unknown. Anything else? High Lord Okami has dubbed the new vessel the Tsume, or in his native language, Claw. Descriptive. I was gonna say, pretentious. 
I agree with that as well. Don't ever repeat that or I'll kill you. I have spectated this conversation. Damn it! Disabling voice recording software. Damn it! Well, I talked to the others and talked to, uh, yeah, all the others, and you guys have, uh, serious issues, is what I'm realizing, and I'm wondering what yours are. Help us, Greg. Yes, th th that's what I'm here for. Yes. O okay, so what am I helping? We're from Plague of Nemoidia. They give us a world rich in resources. Well, that's good. Bountiful. All right. But we are the ones that are doing the work. And are you getting nothing in return? Pretty much. Oh, so contract slavery. Is that the word? That's yes. the word. So basically they say you have to do this, they don't give you anything in return. So that's not a very good thing to have because only some people benefit. So when you need to make laws and rules that everyone benefits and they have good working hours, I mean, how long do you work? Forever. Forever. Let's not do that. Let's make plans for retirement and old age. We had workers. And? They didn't get paid enough so they left. And now we're doing the work. So now let's make it so that people who work get benefits for working for you. Explain. So you don't like to get to work for free, correct? No one works for free. Well, what about the workers previously? They were working for free. We paid them. What did you pay them? Not much. How much? Like a credit a, a week? A credit a week. You could even rent an apartment for that. So let's try to figure out some good wages for people to stay and good resources. Here's a place where you can rent your apartments. Here's a grocery store where you can buy local foods. Make it so there's an economy and not just work. So let me get this right. In your habitats, you don't use heating because no one can agree on the temperature. That is correct. Like even winter. Tell me freeze to death. You're sure that's not some kind of mistake or error? Nope. That is the planet's sanctioned temperature. Going all natural has its benefits, I suppose. It works for most of all. Always hot, never freeze to death. What if the rock cools and hardens? That is a big problem. Now that I'm back and talk to all of you, I can see a lot of you have a lot of planetary and social problems. You, the Mustafarians, have been ruled a lot by secret bases and weird government sodas. You need a lot of education and help with that. As for the uh, Nemordians, you just like being very, very sketchy. And uh, the contract slavery thing is a definite, uh, we're not doing that anymore. And you Runans, is that it? what it is? Yes. You guys need to start making decisions and I'm going to have a seminar that's a mandatory seminar, so you have to go to it about how to make decisions and why not making decisions is a bad idea. We haven't had one of those for years. We're going to make one now. We could never decide on a time for it to start. I'll decide the time. You just follow it up. And of course, we'll go against the uh, <clears throat> huts because uh, that's not really my kind of pirates. They're more gangsters. I'm a pirate. We're a little freeform. They're a little more controlly, controlly. So we'll, uh, we'll uh, have a huge uprising on that. I'll help whenever I can, of course, and uh, we'll try to make you guys uh, in sync and unified. Sound good? That sounds like the most wonderful thing ever. Good. Anyone I missed? Anyone I missed? No? Yes? No, but we have been contacted by many worlds, and this will be first of many meetings with you. I know, it will be many meetings, and that's fine. I mean, uh, I had an alliance with one of my partners, broke off recently, so I now have more time to help you guys figure out your structures and diplomacies and stuff like that. And we can help you with the alliance. You just have to let people come and make hidden base. We're, we're not going to do the hidden base thing anymore. It's not going to be a base that everyone knows about. Oh, not very, not very hidden. We don't need to make it hidden. It's a lava world. Nobody wants to go to a lava world and attack it. We shoot lava back, right? I, I want to go. You, you want to go where? To Lava World. You are Lava World. Oh, I stop talking now. I'm also gonna get my therapist. The borders have been drawn. The Kiba effect has been nullified. 
it's time for RID to have a permanent base of operation again. Let's finance it, let's get it going. Can we do that? I think that is a very good idea. Ooh! I want the maximum budget, please. The banking clan wants to know how much the maximum budget will be. Boundless! The banking clan says that we do not have boundless resources. Limitless! That is also the same thing. Perhaps a budget somewhere in the neighborhood of 500,000 credits? I can consider this. It has been considered. That sounds good. Great! With a budget like that, we could build a Mount Calamari again! There's already a husk of an old base there, if you know what I mean. I, we did have some excellent times there, and also terrible idea. No. It's a fixer-upper, yeah, but it's fine. It's just a little water damaged. It could save on remodeling prices. I regret that the only worlds I can offer do not have atmospheres that you can breathe. <laughs> I can offer a planet that has an atmosphere. Also, it is very secure. I, I nominate Moonalist. The, the banking world? Yes? Yes, that one. Would, in having a base there, R.I.D. have access to the funds of every bank on your planet? Let's not do this idea. I regret everything I've said. Well, if you're just going to suggest Mon Calamari again, are you? I am. Then, let's, let's split for mm, both are beautiful, um, what about a bit of a hole in the ground? What about Frasier? What about it? But yes, exactly! We could just put a lovely base on there. The Dean of Fraser University owes me a favor. I believe I can get the property there cheap. Ooh, do you have some dirt on him? As in the real estate dirt, yes. Boring. Then it's done. Yeah. <laughs>